cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS EdTech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Anong has sa'yo? Dito na ba? Hindi pa. Anong has sa'yo? Good afternoon everyone! It's Monday! Week 5, Earth and Life Science Day. Kumusta mga ka-ELS? How are you? To our grade 11 and 12 students, magandang-magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, for the attendance, don't forget to type the name of your school section and the name of your Earth and Life Science teacher. Okay, I'm Tutor Jules from Kaibiga High School, Caloacan City. So, for the week 5, we will discuss the following topic. The plate tectonics, formation of rock layers, and relative and absolute dating. So, are you ready? I hope you are now in a place of your home uh, with strong internet connection. Prepare your notebook and ball pen for the important concepts and prepare yourself. Uh, by the way, for the Earth and Life Science, uh, teachers and students for this, I know, for the Earth and Life Science students and teachers for the week, to be announced next meeting, but uh, no. uh, it will be posted within this week in our Facebook page. Okay, so let us recall the lesson last time. Let us recall the lesson last time. Can you still remember this figure? Or can you still remember this image? Okay, while you are waiting, um, sige, let me check the attendance. To those who participate, okay, the attendance from uh, Donya Magdalena Gafood High School. By the way, for the review, identify what is the process uh, based from the image. And then we have also from Aliba Dabad National High School, San Mariano District. And then from Danielle Aroginal, the National High School, Davao City. Okay, so can you still remember what is the uh, process stated in this picture? That is the metamorphism. There is an increasing metamorphic grade from low to high grade, and there is an increasing temperature and pressure condition. And next, we discuss also the types of metamorphism. Uh, the 
contact metamorphism and regional metamorphism. And we discuss also, also the systematic plan for metamorphic rock identification. And we explain the classification of rock based on texture, the grain size, composition, uh, the types of metamorphism, and the map symbol. There is a given map symbol for each type of rock. Okay, good afternoon po. From Kaibiga High School, hello. From Jones Rural School and from Jamantina National High School. And how about this type of rock? Nice and pilite. Can you still remember this type of metamorphic rock? There are two types. There are two classification of metamorphic rock, right? So will you please identify the classification of this metamorphic rock? So, mga busy pa sa attendance, puro attendance muna to from Jamantina National High School and from Aguinaldo National High School. Okay? So, who else? From Nasiglat Jones School. Okay, another school, Nasiglat Jones Rural School. Thank you. So, what do you call to this? There is a uh, layer There is a layer of the rock. So, that is known as collated metamorphic rock. Another type of rock. Identify the type of rock, uh, the samples here, the horn pearls and the pink marble. The particles distribute randomly, that is known as non-foliated metamorphic rock. And next, the agents of metamorphism. Will you please identify what are these agents of metamorphism? Based from the description, it is increases with depth and the buried rocks are subjected to the force or stress. So can you identify now? Yes, Alea Chavez, you got the correct answer. That is non-foliated. Non How about these agents of metamorphism? Uh, can you still remember? That is heat. Is that heat? Do you think so? No. The key word there is the force of stress. Okay, so that is pressure. Uh, dinis arrange ko, akala nyo, yan pa rin yung arrangement nung nakarahan? No. Uh, dinis arrange ko, mga anak. So, let's have the second one. It is water-containing ions in solution. Okay, it is a water-containing ions in solution enhances the metamorphic process. So, what do you call to this agent of metamorphism? Okay, somebody answered me, heat, heat. Nope, it is not heat. Water containing ions. Can you still remember that? Uh, it is based from the arrangement kasi yung mga sagot ninyo, no? That is, yes, you're right, Aldri, uh, Adrian Alvarez. That is chemically active fluids. Very good. And let's have the, the last one, perhaps, is the most important factors because it provides the energy to drive the chemical changes. So that one is the last, the last agent. That is very important for the chemical reaction. That is, okay, tama kayo lahat. Clo, Clo, and who else? Patrick, you got the correct answer. And the last is heat. You are correct, Luigi. So next, the types of igneous rock. There are two types of igneous rock that is located outside. So the type of igneous rock, sige, hulaan nyo muna yan, yung first. So, let me uh, continue the checking up at attendance of the other school, the presence of the other school. Saan na ba yung iba? Okay, from DMGHS. DMGHS is Jamantina. Ano tong DMGHS? Okay, the, that is extrusive. Echebarria, you're right. Extrusive form on this surface. And that one, the process, how about and that is intrusive, you're right, Legaspi. Intrusive rock form underground or plutons. So we discuss also the types of yeah, igneous rock based on the composition. So number one, it possess 70% uh, of silica content. 70% of silica content. And for the second, 60%, that uh, the example is diorite. And the third is 50% of silicon dioxide and 40% for the fourth. Can you still remember these uh, types of igneous rock based on the composition? So number one is felsic. You are right, Alea. Okay, that is felsic. So what felsic? What's next? After felsic, that is intermediate. Okay, and then mafic. And the fourth one is ultra mafic. So 
here's the most essential uh, learning competencies or the objective for this day. First, explain how the movement of plates lead to the formation of folds and faults. Describe how layers of rocks, stratified rocks, are formed. And the last one, describe the different methods relative and absolute dating to determine the age of the stratified rocks. Medyo tatlo, no? Marami. So, uh, bilisan natin. Movements of plates and formation of folds and faults. So, let's start with this. The principle of plate tectonics. So, what is all about the plate tectonics? When we say principle, that is the basic, ano, that is the basic, uh, Point of view, uh, principle, the fundamental concept about the plate tectonics, okay? The fundamental concept about plate tectonics. The Earth's outer rigid layer, lithosphere, is broken into discrete plates. It's moving more or less as unit. So, it is consists of uh, the lithosphere is broken into distinct plates and move up or move as one, uh, it move as one unit. And then, uh, this plate, by the way, uh, based from the continental drift theory, um, the plates of the earth is like, the, the plates of the earth is like a jigsaw puzzle, wherein one plate is like, uh, the one plate is related or connected to the other plate. Okay? And then there are seven major plates and there are de there are dozens of small plates and then letter b principle given by the mantle convection the lithospheric plates right over the so soft ductile asthenosphere this is uh the movement of the plates is due to the convection current if you can still remember the you uh, know the the transfer of heat explained by Tutor Tony last time, the convection current, the movement of the particles from the lower part, diba? Uh, as you go deeper, the temperature is in, uh, the temperature increases. So the particles or the magma under, uh, it is, ano, uh, once it is heated, it will move upward. Bakit magmumove siya upward? Because of the particles, be, uh, because of the particles, uh, na naging active. Pag nainitan, naging active, so it will move upward. Once na nasa taas na ng mantle, on the upper part, it pulls down. Then the particles move closer again. Then it form a denser material to move downward. So bababa siya ulit. So there is a continuous ano, movement of the magma uh, from the top move to uh, the lower part. So that is the cause of the movement of the Plate. Okay, that is letter B. For letter C, different types of relative motion. So, we will discuss about the plate boundaries create uh, distinctive sets of geologic features. So, and a plate is not the same as continent. As I have said a while ago, the, there are seven major uh, plates, but there are dozens of small plates. And Philippines, we have our own plates. We have our own plate. Okay, these are the plate boundaries. Plate boundaries are important because there are uh, along edges, there are the formation of the, of the lithosphere. So let's have this number one, divergence. So look at the movement of the, uh, the arrow, uh, the movement in this plate boundary. Uh, the movement uh, is opposite. They move away. Uh, the plate moving away to each other. And then in convergent, the plates uh, move toward each other. And then in transform, uh, the plates are sliding past each other. Okay? So here's the types of plate boundaries. Uh, the type of margin, the divergent, uh, the, uh, the movement in divergent uh, that is spreading. The effect is oceanic lithosphere created and there's a formation of reeds and there is a volcanic activity so look at the ano, uh, the formation or the movement of the magma dito here in the asthenosphere so that is how reeds form and in convergent there is a subduction uh, motion subduction is the process of the uh, downward movement of the denser 
plates, okay? Medyo bababa of the denser plates. And then, uh, the effect oceanically, the sphere destroyed. And there's a formation of trends to be explained further as we go on. And there is a volcanic, uh, there is a volcanic activity, okay? In transform lateral sliding, no more effect, no volcanic activity. So, let us proceed. How folded mountains form? Okay, so we have here the plate boundary. Folded mountains form in convergent. The type of plates, it is between continental plate to continental plate. So how is it formed? So look at this. Okay, the two continental plate, yan, uh, the plate is not dense enough to subduct. So meaning, they have the same density. Continental plate, another continental plate, when they react, when they collide, okay, uh, walang ano, walang uh, denser. So what will happen? As a result, the continental crust folds upward. So there is a continental crust fold. There is a formation of folds upward. And creating a chain of folded mountains. So look at this example. The Himalayas, the example of the uh, folded mountains, Himalayas and Sierra Madre. The Himalayas, that is Asian uh, mountain range, that separates the in that separates the is that Indian um, that is a mountain range in Asia. Okay, that separates the I forgot that part. Sinas separate nya sa Tibetan Plateau, and then in Sierra Madre. Uh, that is, I uh, know, that is from Cagayan Valley to Quezon. And the direction is from north to south direction. Okay? So, that is the example of the mountain rings. And the folding in rocks occur when they are subjected to tectonic forces from the opposite side. So, if there are uh, forces on opposite sides, so what will happen? There is a formation of folding. Uh, that is the illustration. An anticline is a fold that arches, arches up of both sides of the rock are pushed inward. So this is the, you know, the upward, uh, the fold that arches up. That is known as anticline. A fold that sinks, yung nandito naman sa baba, that is known as sinkline. So that is, those are the parts of fold. And then how deep ocean trends uh, form? Okay, it is normally formed in convergent boundary. It is an interaction between the oceanic plate versus continental plate. So how is it formed? As the more dense oceanic plate subducts, so there is a, I know, a one plate, a normally the oceanic, uh, the oceanic plate is more dense than the continental crust. So oceanic subduct. So nasa bandang baba. And then it pulls the front edges, the less dense, creating a deep zone. So there is a formation of trends on this part. A trends is a long, narrow, narrow hole in the floor of the ocean. Okay, that is the formation of deep ocean trends. Another, uh, there is, an, uh, here's the recent achievement of Filipino. Dr. Deo Florence Onda, a microbial oceanographer of the Marine Science Institute of the University of the Philippines, made history for being the first Filipino and one of the first humans to descend the Emden Deep. Nasaan bang Emden Deep? Here, at yung Philippines, at uh, natin dito lang naman sa gilid, that is the Emden Deep. Ano ba yan? The third deepest spot on Earth in the Philippine Trends. March 22 to 20, 28, 2021, expedition was made in the collaboration with Caladan Oceanic, a private company that develops undersea technology. It's the pride of Pinoy. So another, how volcanoes form, okay? It is normally formed in the plate boundary, uh, convergent boundary. So the type of plates, oceanic plate versus continental plate. So oceanic and continental. So what will happen? As I've said a while ago, yung ano, oceanic that is uh, normally denser than the continental. So there is a, ano, uh, the less dense normally located at the upper part or yung more dense will subduct. 
So, that is the formation. And then, subducted plate melts. Ayun, magkakaroon ng formation or partial melting here. Because of the extreme heat and friction, magkakaroon ng extreme heat of friction in that part. And there is a formation of magma. And then, this magma um, rises up through the crust where it reaches the surface and cools. This happened repeatedly to create large volcano. So that is how volcanoes form. How about the volcanic island arc? So almost the same explanation, but this is different. The volcanic island arcs. When we say volcanic island arcs, uh, that is a, you know, a chain of volcano. So uh, it is formed in convergent boundary. It is a reaction between the oceanic plate and the oceanic plate. So, nasa oceanic plate and another oceanic plate. Still, meron pala yung mass denser and one subduct. Okay? The subducting oceanic lithosphere. So, normally, there is a partial melting. Ayan, magkakaroon ng partial melting because of the... Uh, it is uh, due to the friction, and, friction under and the heat. And there will be a formation or the upward movement of magma and the formation of volcanic island arc or chain of volcano. Say so almost the same process with the uh, volcano a while ago. Okay, how about reef valley? The reef valley form in divergent boundary. So, it is a uh, interaction of the two continental plates. So, how is it formed? The two continental plates. Okay, one continental plates and the other. So, what will happen? It moves away from its other, stretching out, cross, until it begins to break the fall. Ayan, maghihiwalay sila. And eventually, can lead to the creation of a new body of water. Siyempre, pag bumaba na to, um, papasok dyan ang tubig. So, that is reef valley. Sample? The East African Rift Valley. Okay, how about mid-ocean ridge? Mid-ocean ridges for a uh, form in divergent plate boundary. It is the interaction between the oceanic plates to another oceanic plates. So look at this. There is a upward movement of magma. So what will happen? Uh, I know there is an opposite direction of the plates and. A seafloor spreading, of course, at this mid-ocean ridges. Ayan. Diyan mangyayari ang seafloor is spreading. And here is the transform slip, strike slip fault boundary. Sample here, the San Andreas fault zone. If you can still remember the movie, yung San Andreas movie, year 2015, ano? So, all those uh, all those scenes, lahat ng eksena na yun, it is because of this, uh, the San Andreas Fault. By the way, the San Andreas Fault is the sliding boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. It slices California in two from Cape Mendocino to the Mexican border. Okay, so now it's your turn. You're going to identify um, the following uh, identify what is being asked or described in each item so choose from the words in the box the plate tectonic the transform fault the convergent seafloor spreading and divergent okay so let me uh, i'm waiting for your answer guys identify what is number one so Here, grade 12 Sapar, hello. Uh, my yes, Jacqueline Corpus of grade 12 Sapar, Aliba Dabad National High School. Your teacher, Ma'am Irma Vanessa. Hello, Ma'am Irma. Thank you. Shout out po, Mac Grady Amir of 11 ABM CHS. Hello. Guys, I'm waiting to your answer. Identify. Identify what is being asked or described in number one. This phenomenon is created during transformation of plates movement and it is a kinematic phenomenon caused by the relative density of oceanic lithosphere and relative weakness of asthenosphere. That is transform. You are right. Transform fault. Luigi Echevarria, Baldobara, Maribet. You are right. Okay. Uh, Jamie Cabasal, correct. Okay, let's see number two. This plate's movement creates mountain and volcanic arc. Mariana's trance is also created by this movement. So what is number two? Don't forget to type the number of your answer. 
Okay, number two. So, while I'm waiting, sige po. Hello, op na pasanek from Jones Rural High School. Hello, Rainiel Ferrer. Tangonan. Anak, pakitype mo kung sinong teacher mo. Parang hindi ko pakilala kung sinong teacher dyan sa Jones. And then, who else? From City of San Fernando. Gas from City of San Fernando. Uh, Rain Pamintuan. Anak, pakitype yung school and the name of your Earth and Life Science teacher, ha? Para ma-PM ko. Okay, number two is Convergent. You are right, Rosario Crislin. Okay, Convergent. Chikina Micaela, right? McGrady, oh, Divergent. It's Convergent. Okay, Patrick, Angela, okay, very good. And then number three, ay, na-reveal ko na, nakalimutan ko. And number three, the movement of this plate is towards the opposite direction or moving away from its other that is divergent. Wala na kayong sasagutan sa number three. So let's have number four. It is a process of rising up hot, dense liquid materials and creates new seafloor. Oh, my keyword. There's a given uh, keyword, keyword for number four. So for number four, while waiting, hello, Samantha Martinez. Samantha Martinez of uh, 12 Aquinas, Aurora Senior High School. Anak, uh, will you please type the name of your teacher in Earth and Land Science? Ha, huh, Samantha? Okay, ayun. Okay na si Daniela. Number four is sea floor spreading. Sinagutan na lahat. And number five, this is a theory that supports uh, continental drift theory and sea floor spreading. So, number five, nakita ko may sagot na siya. It's plate tectonic. Si Samantha Nicole Padayaw. Uy, maalala ko si Nicole. Laging number one. Okay, so here's the lesson. The second uh, topic for this day, the formation of rock layers. Okay? Uh, he, uh, based from the uh, image that is in Animasola rock, form, uh, that is Animasola rock formation in Masbate. So, how rock layers form? So, based from the principle of uniformitarianism, James Newton, Scottish geologist, chemist, and naturalist, according to him, the principle of uniformitarianism states that the current geologic processes such as volcanism, erosion, and weathering are the same processes that were at work in the past. So, same processes yung nangyayari noon, same processes din yung nangyayari ngayon. So, those are, that is stated in principle of uniformitarianism. And then let us proceed. The layers of rock are like the pages in our history books. So how are rock layers formed? So normally, the formation of rock layers depend on its stratigraphy and stratification. So let us differentiate stratigraphy and stratification. So stratigraphy is the study of rock. By the way, that is the uh, that is a branch of geology that deals with the study of the rock layers. And then in stratification that is expressed by the rock layers units, it is the study of the composition or the arrangement of the group of rock. Okay, stratigraphy and stratification. So proceed. According to Nicholas Stano, Nicholas Steno, he is a Danish scientist. The stratigraphic laws are the basic principles that all geologists use in decoding or decipherating the spatial and temporal relationship of rock layers. So how can we use this stratigraphic laws? Okay, these are num uh, number one, the law of superposition. When we say law of superposition, uh, those particles or rock located at the uh, bottom, yung nasa baba, those are the oldest. And then, yung nasa on the top, those are the youngest rocks, okay? That is the, uh, those are youngest rocks. And uh, let's have an analogy in a basket of use clothes, di ba? Yung nauna mong ginamit, that is under. And then yung uh, kahapon mo lang ginamit or kagagamit mo lang, that is located at the upper part of the basket. So that is under the law of superposition. That is the analogy. Okay, let's have the law of cross-cutting relationship. In law of cross-cutting relationship, when magma intrudes the rock, that fault of magma is stronger than the rock. So here, ito yung, ano, yung cross-cutting. So one, two, three, the, those are considered 
older compared to number four. And the youngest is number five. So next, let's have the law of inclusion. In terms of uh, this law, inclusions are younger than the other rock masses. Here is the explanation. The intrusion or the particles under, okay, that is considered older compared to the, uh, compared to the rock mass that contains the pieces of rock, okay, that is younger. And the intrusion that is older. Okay, that is law of inclusions. And now, this is your turn. You are going to answer this uh, question. Who is older? Who is younger? Number one, in what layer was the first rock formed? So, this is your turn. I'm waiting for your answer. What would be the possible answer? Will you please write, uh, type number one and then your possible answer? Uh, these are the layers of rock. This is A, yung may line dito. And this is B. And ito po is letter C or layer C and this is layer D and that is layer E. And don't forget layer F, okay? So, I'm waiting for number one. In what layer was the first rock form? Alin dyan ang nauna na rock based from the illustration, okay? Your answer is letter F. Where's letter F? The letter F refers to this line. Yung line dito, that is letter F. Okay, that is line. E is the younger. I'm asking the first rock form. Yung first rock na na form. So, uh, Alenia Chavez, answer letter B. Okay, it's B. You're right, Ch uh, Alenia. And then the rest, they said letter F. Okay, the F refers to this line. Yung line dito, that is uh, F. So, how about number two? What letter is the second layer of the rock? So, if B is the first layer of the rock, what is the second layer? Okay, number two na tayo, ha? Why your answer is letter B in number two? Number one is B already. That is the first rock form. How about in number two? So, number two, the answer is, it is A. You are correct. Nicole Yapor, you are right. Okay? It's A. Uh, Samantha Nicole Padayao, you are also correct. How about number three? What happens in the rock represented by letter D? So how about the rock represented by letter D? Is that cutting or insertion? So in number three, your answer, cutting or insertion. Hi. Number three, cutting or insertion. Okay, hello, Lisel Dimpol, Marian Batal. Anak, A ang sagot mo, but you have to type the number. Hindi pwedeng A po, ma'am. So, type the number and your answer. Number three, okay, even you, paano ba to? Um, Napoles, uh, type the number, please. Is that in insertion in number three? Is that insertion in number three? Okay, it's cutting. Elizabeth Gonzaga, that is cutting. Yung cross-cutting kanina, okay, that is the law. Apply in that. Uh, applied in that uh, description. And then, let's have number four. What three layers was cut by letter D? So, ano yung ano, nadaanan ni letter D? What three layers was cut by letter D? So, identify. There are three possible answers. Cut by letter D. We have cutting. Ano yung tatlo na mali? It's okay. Uh, you are still learning, anak. Uh, tutorial session ito. Hindi pa, na, hindi pa naman maapektuhan yung grade mo. You can, sir, you can answer as many times as, uh, as you can. Kung nagkamali ka sa una, try again. Ganun lang yun. Uh, wag mahiya. It's okay. So, number four, what are the three layers? Was cut by letter D. It's C, A, B, Penny, Napolis, A, C, E, B, A, C. Ayan, ang dami yun ang sagot. It's C, A, B, or A, B, C. Okay? A, B, C, or? Okay, you are right. Garcia, L, C. And then, five, what takes place in letter F? So, is that fault or false? So, uh, you must know the, ano, the definition of false or fold. This line, uh, number five. For number five, what takes place in letter F? Is that fault 
or folds. We describe what ago the folds and how about how about fault? Okay, Alea Chavez, you're right. Fault. Okay, then next, what environmental factor occur in letter F? So, what environmental factor? Can you still remember what is erosion and volcanic eruption? Is there a possibility for erosion or volcanic eruption for letter E? So, for number six, you will type the, uh, no, the, the word. Is it erosion or volcanic eruption? Hello, Edison. Uh, 11 Edison Conception National High School Division of Leyte, Rafael. And Radores, subject teacher. Okay. Thank you, Mylene, Laura from Division of Leyte. Thank you na. Sige. Iti take note namin yung pangalan ng uh, teacher mo. And good afternoon from Dinapige. Uh, watching from Dinapige National High School. Hello, Heather Star. Good love. Okay. So the answer is erosion. You're right. Balubar. Pati gayon. Mercado, Cabasal. Okay, very good. Tama lahat. And then number six, number seven, which rock layer is the oldest? Oh, yan. Balikan natin yung kanina. Which the oldest? Ano na ngayon ang pinaka? The first, uh, ano, the first layer of the rock. So, which is the oldest? Based from the answer, uh, in the first question, it's letter B. The rock layer, the oldest layer is letter B. Yan din yung number one kanina. Same question. And which rock layer is the youngest? Oh, yan. Youngest na tayo. Number 7B. You're right, Chavez. Gonzaga. Leberos. Pingol. Cabasal. Salarda. Caguada. Yan. Mga tama lahat. Number 8. Which rock layer is the youngest? Youngest na tayo. Number 8. I'm waiting for number 8. You're right, Samantha. Tangonan. Adrian. Kano, okay, very good. Adrian, uh, Elsie Garcia, okay, it's letter E, okay, tama. You're right, Bilirama Sanpe, okay, very good. Ang galing. Number nine, which layer describe the law of horizontal continuity? Which layer describe the law of horizontal continuity? So the horizontal continuity, uh, horizontal continuity, so there's a continuation on the other side. That is uh, layer C. Tingnan nyo, merong insertion dito. Uh, there is a cutting, right? So C uh, is the correct answer. For number 9, which layer shows an angular unconformity? So there is a deformation of the rock because of the uh, uh, angular unconformity. Which layer shows an angular uh, unconformity? So in number 10, that is uh, B. Okay, so ito po. The irregular formation of the rock. It is because of the erosion or other geological process. Okay, the last topic, the relative and absolute dating. The relative and absolute dating, when we say relative, uh, it is a qualitative way of describing the, uh, of determining the age of the rock. So, it is from younger to older or older to younger. While in absolute dating, that is numerical dating, there is a specific date or uh, age of the rock. Sample here, uh, on this part na yung nasa baba, that was uh, 520 million years ago and then 545 million years ago. It's absolute dating or known as numerical dating. Ganon din sa radiometric dating. Okay? Same description. In relative dating of rocks, uh, it can only determine if the rock layer is young or old. So, in absolute dating of rocks, absolute dating, exact numerical age. Sabi ko nga kanina, it's quantitative way. Okay? So, absolute dating of rocks, uh, they are they use the radioactive, they use the radioactive elements because of their isotope okay the during the uh, no, the releasing of the energy the through the radioactive decay they form the daughter isotope the parent isotope form the uh, daughter isotope and here's the commonly used isotope when we say isotope the number of protons is equal to the number of neutral right can you still remember that uh, part of your chemistry the parent isotope here is carbon 14 the daughter isotope is nitrogen 
14. And the half-life years is 5,730. And effective dating range is 100 to 50,000 uh, range of uh, years. Okay? So normally, all the living organism, uh, to determine the age of the living organism, itong ginagamit na carbon-14. So materials that can be dated using this isotope, the wood, uh, shells, or anything that was once alive, trapped carbon dioxide. Itong ginagamit to determine the age of the living organism. And then for the rock, they use the potassium-40, uranium-238, and uranium-235. So the potassium-40, uh, their isotope, argon-14, and calcium-40. For the uranium-238, uh, lead 206 and uranium 235 lead 207. So, materials that can be dated using this isotope, uh, they use it in muscovite, in uranium 238, in zircon. Those are the, ano, those are the minerals na ginagamit to determine the age of those minerals. In uranium 235, ginagamit yan in uranite. Okay, so relative versus absolute dating. When I say relative dating, um, as I've said a while ago, it is qualitative. It is a way of describing the age of rock, which is less specific, cheaper, and time efficient. So, hindi, hindi siya uh, specific. Okay, so simple way of describing it. Is it older or younger? It could be that way. In absolute dating, it is a quantitative method. So, there's a specific range of the age of the rock. So, but it is expensive and time-consuming. Okay, for the uh, assessment, you are going to identify the correct answer. So this is the last part. Which type of dating method can be used on rock layers by applying the law of superposition? A, absolute dating. B, relative dating. C, radioactive dating. D, Radiometric dating. So, what is your answer? Number one is letter A, according to Jap uh, Hapor. Nicole, is that letter A? Um, hello, from Aquinas Aurora Senior High School. Sir Leo, ah, okay. Sir Leo Angel. Thank you, Kaylee Magbanoa. So, the answer is, is that letter A? Again, which type of dating method can be used on rock layers by applying the law of superposition. Can you still remember what is superposition? The layer, okay? Based from the superposition, uh, yung nasa baba, that is the oldest, and then yung nasa taas, that is the uh, youngest. Is that absolute dating? Is that relative dating? Is that radioactive dating? Or radiometric dating? So is there a specific number? It's letter B. You are right, Adrian. You are right, Gonzaga, Elizabeth, Patricia, Delena. Okay, you are right. Okay, yung iba, the, yung absolute dating is specific. Same also with the radioactive dating and the radiometric dating. Is specific yung mga yan. Okay, so ito yung, uh, they apply the law of superposition, the uh, relative dating. Okay, for number two. Which of the following is not true about absolute dating? Oh, which is not true? A. It is a quantitative method of dating. B. It uses simple principles to recognize the relative ages of rocks. C. It is used to give rocks an actual date or date range in number of years. D. It uses radiometric method by radioactive decay concept of isotopes and concepts of half-life. So what is your answer? The answer is letter B. You are correct, Daniela. Okay, you're right. Uh, Reliora, Legaspi, De Guzman, who else? Artea is Tartilio Guanlao. Very good. Okay. It's letter B po. It uses simple principles to recognize the relative ages of rock. Kasi lang, lahat ng mga yan, more on description of absolute dating. Ito, it uses simple principles to recognize the relative age of rock that is in uh, relative dating. Okay? So... Life, uh, let me share to you this quotation. Life is a series of natural and spontaneous changes. Don't resist them that only create sorrow. 
So, let reality be reality. Kung anong katotohanan tanggapin mo. Kung nagkamali ka, iayos mo. Kung, uh, kung mali ka, you have to make it correct. Okay? Let things flow naturally. Forward in whatever way they like. Okay? So, uh, by the way, we don't have enough time to entertain questions. Yung mga tanong ninyo, you can send to our Facebook page. And then, within this week, hopefully, yung best student natin or the Earth and Life Science uh, teacher and student and the school, uh, we will post within this week po. Okay? Yung week four. And then, um, don't forget to support the Team Mahusay. Meron po kami, ano ba yung ano natin? We have safety and first aid at 3.40 to 4.20. General chemistry, 4 to 4.40. And then 4.40 to 5.20, general biology. And uh, 5.20 to 6.20, mommy tech talks. And your feedback matters to us. So, we openly welcome your feedback. Kung meron man kayong comments or complaints, suggestion, eto po. You can use this QR code that connects you to this. Or pakitype lang HTTPS, uh, tiny URL, ito na feedback form. Okay? Thank you guys for, ano, for participating this uh, session. And don't forget, up next, Shooter Cat and Shooter Zai. The Mitra in Information Literacy, and Tutor Wendy and Tutor Eric, the General Biology one. Goodbye. Thank you so much. See you next week. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Ralph. Ang husay naman. Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag Itulay Level Up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!